So that's the magic of diamond testing. It's the world's first multi-user touch technology. I could gesture like this, and I could save that as a JPEG image, or just exit out, and now we're back to normal. But let me quit out of this, and I'll show you how it works here. So when I say this is a multi-user touch technology, actually, there's one more chair if anybody else wants to play. Um, here's what I mean by multi-user. When I touch the table, it's yellow, and when you touch your red and your green, and so you see how it knows who's who? No matter where you touch, you, touch uh, you can try. Uh, it doesn't work for you. That's because you're not sitting. Uh, okay. But I'm not using it. Need to be wired. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's got. It. So most touch screens are pressure sensitive. Some of them have cameras that are trying to track your finger, but this is fundamentally different. We call this diamond touch, and the way it works is underneath this white surface here, there's an array of antennas that are emitting small RF signals. And when I touch, I'm capacitively coupled to those antenna signals, completing a circuit through me and into the chair that I'm sitting in. And each of these chairs are wired in. So I'm sitting in the yellow chair. If I stand up, I got nothing. If I take your hand real quick, now I'm doing it. Now I'm yellow again. <laughs> so that's how it knows who's who. Now the reason we developed this was to support small group collaboration. And the idea is people can gather around and interact at the same thing at the same time. And our vision is that everybody should be able to drive at once. It's not like you should have to take turns. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, from an HCI perspective, computers are very good at allowing people to work together who are in remote locations. You know, there's email, there's a net meeting, there's all these tools for remote collaboration. But if you're in the same space at the same time, I'd argue the computer's going to get in the way. You know, the best a computer can do in a small group setting is to let one guy drive and have everybody else huddle over their shoulder. And, and now we're not even looking at each other. You know, here we can be face to face. And and our vision is that everybody should be able to drive at the same time. It's not like one. It's not like we should have to take turns. And, and an interesting data point that we got was that 70% of all business meetings take place face-to-face -face between two or three people. And the fact that computers don't support the most common of interaction between people strikes me as crazy. And that's the motivation behind Diamond Touch. Now here's, here's a demonstration that illustrates what you could do with multi-user touch in a business setting. This is for GIS applications. Uh, this is people are doing satellite image analysis and things like that. Here's a satellite image. And if I want to get a closer look at this, I can take two fingers and stretch open the window like that. And when I let go, it just kind of snaps back. But the nice thing about this is, since it's multi-user, we don't have to take turns. We can all do this at the same time. And it's notable that you can you can put your stuff on the table. It's, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't mess things up. I can, you can actually you know spill your coffee on it. You can drop your car keys on it. It's not a problem. Right. Yeah, if this were pressure sensitive or based on cameras, that would that would completely mess things up. But you know, this was actually one of the design goals is you know people are going to treat it like a real table if they're going to do tabletop computing. Now it's not just one or two points of touch, but you can input gestures. One of the gestures that we programmed into this demo is this. So now I've tacked it down. And once I've tacked it down, then I can annotate. And you can see my annotation stays there and is associated with me because in this case I'm the yellow user. So in a full-blown system, you could have an audit trail or a record as to who said what. Uh, so let me teach you the gesture. It's looking for more surface area, more skin contact. So, so, so if you start with your fingertips and then you come down. Yeah. And you notice I can't use your pen. I can't move your window. That's yours. This is a okay? I'll show this next time. And this is just a demo. I'll just point out this is just a demo. But, uh, and right now you're scribbling around all over the place. But uh, uh, this basically illustrates you know, the concept of what you can do with multi-user touch. Another idea is you could have user-based preferences where maybe, like if this were a teacher-student setting, I might have certain buttons that are disabled for the students so they don't mess things up, but they work for me as the teacher. Like maybe this button only works for me as the teacher. 
uh, or here's a here's a layered image, a street map on top of a satellite image. We've done some where, uh, like an architectural diagram, where each user has access to a different layer, where the electrician could window in and see where the wires are, the plumber would see where the pipes are, the HVAC guy would see where the ductwork is, but they could benefit from this around the table interaction. Now this is just a concept uh, piece here. We have other demos, I have games and stuff like that, but uh, the plan is, our, our plan is to sell the Diamond Touch table as a developer's kit initially. So we have an open API and a software developer's kit that allows other people to write multi-user or gesture-based application software. We support Java, C, .NET, ActiveX, a bunch of programming languages. Um, in addition, we'll include some demo applications as well as this uh, Windows mouse simulator. So here's my Windows desktop, my fingers and mouse. If all you want to do is Windows stuff, this will just work right out of the box. If you want to do simultaneous multi-user stuff or gesture-based things, you can do that with our SDK. So for example, I can, I can double click here. Uh, here's a right click, so a touch tap of the thumb to right click. Yeah, that's a right click. Uh, here, I, I can show you with an internet browser here. So here's the news, uh, Google Earth. Uh, my one uh, finger is like my left mouse button. My fist is the scroll wheel. So we can tell the difference between a finger and a fist. That's a right click, so a touch tap is a right click. Two taps is your middle mouse. There's an on-screen keyboard so you can type. I actually have one of these in my office, and for over a year now, this has been my primary computer interface. Yeah, I've gotten rid of my monitor, my, my keyboard, and my mouse. This, this, if, you, if you get a, diamond, uh, a uh, email from me, it's from the Diamond Touch table. You've got a bus box. mixer in the question, I'm I, I do. I've actually, you see, I've, it's kind of big. I actually resized this keyboard to fit my case. Uh, I think uh, some of you who are less clumsy than me might have a <laughs> smaller keyboard. But. And actually, this is shareware that I got. It's kind of cool. It's, you see how it's most transparent. So, anyway. Uh, so, our developer's kit uh, was uh, selling includes a table hardware, software developer's kit, and this mouse emulator. Price tag is about 10K US.